Hello, I'm Caroline Henry. I'm your Police and Crime Commissioner for Nottinghamshire. This Valentine's Day, we're focusing on romance fraud as part of an awareness raising campaign, which is through Nottinghamshire Fraud Partnership. Romance fraud or dating scams often involves people being exploited to send money to criminals who go to great lengths to gain their trust and convince them that they're in a relationship. It's one of the fastest growing and most common types of fraud in Nottinghamshire, with reported incidents rising from 43 in 2020 to 166 last year. Karen, who lives in the Mansfield area, has been brave and has opened up to us after she was conned out of thousands of pounds on a gaming platform. In this video, she explains that the damage done by the scammers goes much further than just the money that was stolen. My name is Karen and I live in the Mansfield area. Um, I'm the victim of romance fraud, which started when I was playing um, a music quiz online. I had no idea that scammers populated it, but they, they do. I was approached by a seemingly nice chap from America and we started talking about just talking about the game and about music in generally. From, from then on he asked me to move on to WhatsApp uh, where he then proceeded to romance me. When I first began to realise that the scam um, was taking place I think first of all I was stunned, shocked. I, I couldn't believe that I'd actually been involved with a scammer and hadn't realised. And I think as well there was a moment where I, th I couldn't believe it because I thought to myself, are people really that awful? Are they that cruel and, and heartless that they would do that to somebody deliberately just to get money from them? Um, at first there was a period of denial. He persuaded me to continue even though I had my suspicions. Um, but finally, yeah, I realised absolutely it was a scam. It's, it's devastating because it's a mixture of guilt pain, humiliation, um, you feel stupid because you, you're carried along with this but at the same time you know that you were not in your right mind, that you were being controlled from the very beginning, you were being manipulated and even when you know that it's most likely to be a scam, you still believe in them because they've got such a grip on you that you actually can't break free for a while. It's a really hard thing to do, uh, to break away from somebody who you believed in and trusted for a long time. I wasn't looking for romance. I wasn't looking for any kind of relationship at all. I'm not lonely. I don't fit the profile that people think of somebody who is, is likely to be scammed. I have a good social life. I have a good work life. I'm never lonely. And I didn't think that I was the type that would be scammed. I'm very aware of scams. I'm very aware of the nature of these crimes. And yet he got to me quite easily. To me, it was a lot of money. It was a substantial sum of money that I lost and I can't get it back. It's, it's gone. From the moment they start to talk to you, they start to groom you, they start to manipulate you and they absolutely control everything that you do from that point onwards. You, you have no say in it, which is why it's a crime because it's against your will. They know every psychological trick in the book. They're absolute experts at what they do. It's a job. They never, ever have any feelings for you. They never take it personally. You don't matter at all. You're just a target to them. I reported the crime to Action Fraud um, and one of the things that they recommended was I get in touch with a local support group and they did put me in touch with um, with the support in this area. They contacted them and they told them about me and said maybe we would like to get together. It's been very helpful. I've been helped for quite a few months now. Um, and it's, it's particularly helpful because it's not judgmental in any way at all. They don't ever say that you are in any way to blame for this. It's always on the understanding that you are an innocent victim of a crime. And that's what you have to learn to accept, that they were criminals. It's not a he or a she, it's a they, because there is more than one that's talking to you, there's more than one that's doing this. It's usually a group of them that will do this to you. Um, and these sorts of things are things that they, they explain to you and get across, and they make you feel 
you're not alone in this, that you're not the only one, that you're certainly not the only one. It's one of the biggest industries in the world. Um, but it's nice to have that reassurance from somebody. And it's a voice, somebody who you can talk to that doesn't judge in any way.